¿Por qué no los dos? <risa> Hi, I'm Josh Fickerson. I'm a fifth year web and mobile computing student in the Information Sciences and Technology Department. Why did I choose RIT or specifically IST? I, I chose RIT for the co-op program, actually. It is the single greatest asset, I think, that RIT has to offer. I actually originally started as a computer science major, you know, like most high school students, the advice I received when I said I was interested in computing was you should major in computer science. I decided to, to switch into to web and mobile computing where I'm focusing on building services or applications that people are interacting with and, and focusing a little less on the theory of computing, whereas in computer science, you're really digging into how computers work, how algorithms operate, efficiency, and all of those things. The faculty and staff in our department are great. Um, they're, they're really supportive. They are invested in their students. We're not so big that professors don't know who you are. They make themselves available on weekends, by email, after hours. They are incredibly helpful. Uh, the staff are really supportive of students outside the classroom. For example, when my friend and I wanted to start Localhost, we are a web and mobile application development club. Ryan and I started the club because we wanted a place where students in our program and other students who are just interested in the web like we, we are can come together and talk about where the web is going. We wanted a place for students to explore more outside the classroom, get together, talk about all these cool new cutting edge technologies that are coming to us and just starting to talk about how we can incorporate them into classroom projects or just even in general, just learning how things work and, and learning more about it. We're really trying to build a place for students to go to, to really push the limits of, of what they're learning here. And, and I think localhost has been a, a great way for students to do that. I mean, it's no secret that computing is moving more and more towards the internet so and and computers in our pockets building for the web and mobile contexts is becoming increasingly important and I think that's really why RIT created this program is to to reflect the change in the industry why go to school for something that could be self-taught especially when there are plenty of companies out there willing to hire software engineers who didn't go to school as long as they can prove that they know how to code. You know, I mean, there are plenty of ways to go online, learn programming, plenty of online courses, both free and paid, to, to learn a lot of the skills that you would need to write some software. That is true. You could do that. But there are a lot of reasons not to. Uh, one of the big things is just your access to other people. If you are online and, you know, sitting in your bedroom or, you know, something like that, just teaching yourself. You're not getting the experience of working in a team. You're not getting the experience of showing your work to other people and getting feedback, all different types of people, and letting their criticism push your work forward. And that's really what you get out of uh, a, class, a more traditional classroom experience. And then there are also a lot of reasons just to go to college in general that have pretty much nothing to do with your classwork. Um, you know, just being part of a new community, the, the social opportunities that come with being a college student, you're not going to get by teaching yourself online. There's this concept that software engineers sit in a dark room and like write code all day long. And sure, though, you know, there might be a few opportunities like that that exist where somebody will put you in a cubicle and you can write code all day. But most software engineering teams today are working in teams. They're working in teams with lots of different types of people, including people who know almost nothing about writing code. And you know, you, you really get that experience in a classroom. And if all you do is teach yourself how to code, then sure, you can write software. You might be really good at it, but there are a lot of other things that, that you're not going to have that a candidate who did come to school is going to have. And so, I really think that you would be at a little bit of a disadvantage. I guess the best advice I would give to students looking at all their options is to know that 
the course offerings and the actual degree program that you're looking at are only part of the equation. A lot of my best experiences as a student have been things that I've done outside the classroom, usually as an extension of what I'm studying, but not always. And I think RIT offers a lot that a lot of schools just don't. Um, I mean, RIT has nearly 300 clubs, and you know, not many schools can say that. And in addition to clubs, there are plenty of ways for students to, to get involved on campus to start new things. RIT is very supportive of you know, um, students with new ideas. I mean, innovation is really at the core of what RIT stands for, and, and that shows in the student life. So, you know, consider more than just what you're going to be studying. You know, your college experience is going to be, or at least should be, much more than going to class and getting good grades. There's, you know, that, that's obviously important, but there's so much more to it than that, and, you know, that really needs to be part of your decision.